Nothing gets to you. Look out for the bigger creatures that roam around here. Look here, another toxin on the dump. Fifty percent done. Every little bit helps. It's time to create your own path. Munteo Mastula. This one seems to be in good spirits despite being left here for dead. Munteo Mastula. Sem has heard that you have a sense of compassion and trusts it's in your nature to help those in need. Asks you to do the right oh. is grateful you chose that. You can't be good. There's a bright day coming. Oh, so wise. Cool off in the shade. The dark is here for you. Don't let the dark suck you in. The only thing that sucks around here is the light. It's not too late.
Time to make something useful. As long as it does the job. Time to do what's right, for certain values of right. This corner of the world is called anywhere, which is maybe why Click calls it home. Let's see. Chico. This fellow seems shocked to see you. He's heard about you, but figured you didn't have the guts. Chico. Agrees, that's obviously true. Chico. Figures someone like you must be willing to do anything to stay alive, just like him. Now that you got this far, though, which way will you go? Are you really tough enough to see this through to the end? Or will you turn tail and run when the end finally comes? Guesses the end is coming either way. When there's nothing but a bad storm rising, it's ride or die. Asks you to think of the world like a set of locks. Every time you do something, you decide whether to open one or not. Would you go back and open different ones now? Says worse is relative. What's bad for you might be good for him. Looks like the world's going to burn. The brighter, the better. Appears to him like you've been wasting your time trying to fix the unfixable. 
He likes the Jagni you work with. He's liberated lots of things with them and from them. It's not like anything they have was actually theirs, and they don't lock it down. You look like you'd be a fun lock to pick. Says back in the days, no one locked anything, but that's changed. Locking yourself in and others out is his key to survival. He keeps his business low key. But for the right person, he's willing to unlock secrets from the back then. The gears mesh well between you. It'll be easier for both if you just call him Click. Says that's the right way to ask that question. Think of yourself first. Click says his key to success is metal. And judging from what he's heard about you, you're handy with metal too, literally. If you charged a bar of metal at a toxinol zap station, he could forge it into the palm of your hand. That would help your clonk fist beat new paths into the future. Just flip the switch of a generator that produces superheated glowy air and get on it when the lightning charge forms. Simple, right? Thinks the biggest risks come with the best rewards. Feels like a river runs through you. Says the tree of life might be taking its time dying, but a bomber ball would end it quick like. If you don't find that bomber ball, you're all going to be glow glass fast. Better stop it now so you can let the world end in its own sweet time. Says that's the story. Can't bet it's not true. Claims the bomber ball can't be all that far away. You're the only one who can track down the bomber ball and get rid of it. Too late to run. It's this or die in a radioactive ball of fire. Figures with luck you can save your skin and all others too. Let's see. Low tech, but it works. The vendor says you can browse. Much more useful than the green.
filling your pockets. Found a good home for your junk. Glad you got rid of that. A deal to be proud of. Sharp as your wit. Sharp wood scrap there. Watch for splinters. Tell it to gallop. That silo there is so tall. It's a mystery what they used to keep in it.
right in the face. So many places to be today. Let's pocket that. Metal that scrapped, all was shiny and chrome. Here is Knack Hill, the patch that Pebble calls home. Seems wowed that you made it all the way up here to wherever he happens to be. He's not quite sure about that himself, having gotten here accidentally. He was just passing through. The fact that he's no longer passing is where the accident comes in. He's bowled over by how you managed to find him. Someone who could do that could go just about anywhere. You seem solid, hard to crack, and always climbing higher. What could stop someone like that? Wherever you're heading next, he hopes you keep strong and tough. You'll need it to get through all the horrors of the world that lie ahead, no matter which direction you go. Wants to know what you'd do if you made a mistake while trying to get someplace. Would you head back down and try again? Or would you try to continue on from where you were? thinks he might just stay here forever instead. Says he's not sure he's sad about the world ending. At least no one else will find him up here. Wonders why you tried to save the world. In the end, what's the difference? Wonders what made you decide to work with the Jagni. The way they squawk around the place is so irritating. Thinks your ears must be broken. Let's talk about happier things. He says it's rare, but sometimes he gets caught between a rock and a hard place. There's no worse spot to be in, and this time is no exception. He's always felt insignificant, like a pebble to a mountain. That's why he's climbing now. He wants to feel on top of the lowlands for once. He realizes that one who doesn't climb can't fall either, so in a way, he guesses he's safer here, not going anywhere. Figures he can't get out of here on his own. He's tried. Pebbles risking death by staying or leaving, so he won't stop trying until he's able to climb out of this dying world. He figures he just has to be more careful. Also, it would be better if he knew where to climb. He doesn't want to be a pebble in your shoe, but if you'd help find some better spots for him to climb, he'd be really grateful. Thinks that would only seem fair. He's not in a position to negotiate much, but he doesn't have much either. This story is as powerful as you'll let it be.
Tulo madro, tulo uchuru. Seeing you always brings them a toothy smile. Bevek bepa man para popak. Dola suma la me, tula su. Tells you not to forget that they're slimed. Rayo te sucho. Seeing you kunenyai ma jama. You can see so much farther in the light. Sometimes what you'll see doesn't feel real until it brings you back to that particular moment like stepping into a time machine. It's hard to shake these memories and their accompanying feelings. Our brains play tricks on us, so it will take effort to avoid them. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. You weren't supposed to know how to start the automaton pew pew pang, but clearly you figured that out way back then. Here you got Bo's teak hanging in that little blimp as an upgrade. Let's see. Peddler is could trade your old things for new. This is turning out to be quite an expedition.
wood scrap. The one kind of scrap you could actually still find growing. It's a rare sight. Treasure it. Wildlife here is teetering on the brink of extinction. We all are. The meat eater again. Nothing seems to satiate his hunger. The note is done for unless you intervene. That's Ranchu, an entire farm poisoned by toxinol rads. Don't stay there long. It's a ride, not a friend, right? There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place If you close your eyes hard enough to reality, your mind opens to let memories in. That's one way to remember what's forgotten. When an unwanted memory intrudes on the mind, it is a natural reaction to want to block it out or just change it. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. So, you remembered the automaton's power-up feature. That's a boost.
you found Snodesburg. Such a neat village. Says, Let's see. Night is on the way. That's interesting. make something shiny out of that metal. The end is coming to the world, and everything else. This is Gurf's turf, and they don't like visitors. going to leave a mark.
Como uno toma la gula y me pela como chumusta bala. That's so brutal. Right. We need some. You'd really root for me as long as it. Ha! You! Might be something here. If a story is about you, care for it. Nothing can slow you down.
Where are the control sticks on this thing? You've stumbled into the mushy mosh mire, where the risk of getting forever stuck is omnipresent, regardless of whether you want it or not. This won't be a field trip, it's the real thing. You can make so many amazing things out of wood scrap. monolith over there means Nono are nearby. Didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right. Didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right. You got it dialed in. See where that light leads. Don't let it wander, point it. Look out for Nono hiding in the... Just follow that beam over to the Scribble Stone. Can't miss it. Oh, check out the Scribble Stone there. Wonder what's behind it.
person. Take this seriously, or it'll take you down. Try to be friends with the beast.
wonder where we can get some ride shoes for the mount. Welcome to Hill Hole, a clean, dry cave. Andy. Nothing's more important right now than this. That's an intact plant hut over there. Wonder what's growing in it. Let's see. The Skanaptrut outpost. The Jagni tribe first nested here long ago. Is your mount paying attention? Gosh. Oh. 
Pebbles says, Repeat and have fun. Pebbles been putting his life on the line for too long and would feel better if you had time to help him balance that out. He understands the line between life and death is wearing thin, but he believes there must be a way to overcome that. He's ready to cross the line, but he just needs your help to tell him which way to go. If you'd help find some ropes that are tight enough to hold him, he'd be really grateful. Seems happy to have you echo his goals. The heights always clear his head. Love to see you shine on. You got it. Take a break from all that's bright. Who doesn't love a little sparkle in their lives? Anyone with the slightest self-respect. And that's overrated. Pebbles right here. For now. The trees arc toward the water. You're here for a reason. It's up to you to figure out what that is.
It's the porky puff nibbling bug. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of date's leg. Opportunity slide. He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. 
You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. <laughs>